guys, thanks for checking out my channel. Today I'm going to be bringing you a video all about Electric Zoo Festival, or EZU as we like to call it. I'm going to be going over all of the basic information you need to know, some facts, so if that's something you're interested in watching and learning a little bit more about, then keep watching. Also, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and join the fam. I put out videos every Sunday. You can also follow me on Instagram, at Emma Capotis, and on Snapchat, at hey there, Emma. I'll link everything down below. But yeah, let's just get started. So the festival takes place over Labor Day weekend, Friday the 1st, Saturday the 2nd, and Sunday the 3rd. It starts at 3 p.m. on Friday and at 1 p.m. on Saturday and Sunday. The festival takes place over Randall's Island, which there are a couple different ways that you can get there. The first option is taking the ferry, which leaves from the East 35th Street um, ferry landing. It's at the corner of FDR Drive and East 35th Street. So you can buy passes to do that. It takes you right over to the festival and it drops you right back off there. You can also take the 456 subway. Take that to the 125th Street stop and then you can either jump on a bus or you can walk across the bridge. They're also doing shuttles which are departing from Output Club which is in Brooklyn. So you can take a shuttle from there and get dropped off and then you can also take it back. I believe begin at noon each day. Um, and all this information is available on their website if you guys want some more detailed um, travel info I would definitely suggest going there. You can also get dropped off um, by a car or by Uber if that's something you're interested in doing. There is no parking available on the island so you can't leave your car. Last year I did take an Uber um, and it wasn't too bad. The guy got like a little bit confused but once you get on the island there's going to be like signage everywhere and you can kind of follow the flow of traffic. Um, so that is definitely an option if you're traveling from outside the area. I came from New Jersey and um, Uber was the easiest option for me. You should be weary a little bit about is the weather. Um, they have had issues in the past with thunderstorms even leading to cancellations of certain days. Um, so last year when I went I only went on the Sunday and the weather was beautiful but just Keep an eye on it as it gets closer. Bring a poncho if you think it's gonna rain. Um, it's pretty much rain or shine, so unless there's like really any very bad weather coming, the festival is gonna happen. So the next thing you need to know about is this, your wristband. Hopefully you guys got yours in the mail, or if you just ordered them, I believe the cutoff date was today, which is the 15th. Um, you can get your wristband in the mail. This is your lifeline to everything. Um, you gotta wear it on your right wrist the entire time. So for me, um, this is the three day festival past, um, so I'm going to put in the, this on that Friday because I know this shit doesn't come off when you put it on. But yeah, your wristband is kind of like everything, obviously it gets you onto the festival and this year you can also pay with everything, so they're going cashless. You can basically load up your wristband with money before and during the festival. Um, there are instructions in the mail, you should have gotten it with your package or it's on their website. Um, but I think it's through the app or through um, their website, you can basically add money to it and then just put your wristband up and pay at all the food and drink stands, which I think is awesome because you're not going to lose cash, you don't have to bring your cards, and it's one less thing to carry. And thank God they're rid of that easy bucks shit because that was ridiculous. Last year it was like a point system and you had to like buy these points, but they weren't equal to the amount of a dollar, so you were spending like $10 and only getting seven points. And if you didn't redeem that money, I don't even think I got money back. So um, this way you can load up your wristband with any money you want and then you will get it back um, whatever you don't spend. As food and drinks and alcohol goes, they have tons of options. The really cool thing about this happening in New York is there's a lot of like local eateries and really cool like trendy food stuff that they usually get so definitely look around at the different food vendors they have like dessert vegan options vegetarian options pizza burgers like anything you can imagine they're gonna have um, they have beer wine and champagne um, if you're 21 or older um, and then there's a VIP areas where they still serve mixed liquor so I'm pretty sure that's not available to like the general population um, but if you did purchase a VIP um, viewing area ticket then you should be able to get any kind of mixed drink that you want. So just to break down the festival, this year they're going with the 6th Borough theme, which is pretty cool. The main stage looks like it's going to be an elephant. I will insert pictures here of the stages from their Instagram. The Hilltop Arena, which is the 6th Borough theme. Um, this is like an arena. Last year it was like a, an enclosed um, sort of like tent. There's really cool vibes under there. Um, that was like adjacent to the main stage. 
pretty much this whole island. Um, it's big, but it's definitely walkable. It does not take that long to get from stage to stage, but there's not really any sound bleeding, which is great. So each stage kind of has its own sound and vibe. You can go look at the lineup to see who's playing where. There's the Riverside stage, which is going to be this like undersea dome. I'm super excited. It looks really cool. It's kind of like an aquarium theme. The Awakenings, which is kind of like their Dutch techno um, type tent. It looks like there's going to be some sick ass lasers and lighting. So that is something I'm going to be checking out. And then the smallest stage is the six point stage. It's this like graffiti artist kind of vibe. Um, usually local artists and some smaller DJs um, end up playing there. But last time it was like right as you walked in. So if you can and you're going to walk by, I suggest stopping in just to see some new people. Lastly, the things you should know about are the after parties. So far they've posted events at Output um, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday night after the event. There's no lineups yet released, but um, follow them on Facebook. Electric Zoo created the events. So if you're interested in going out after, I would check out those Facebook events that they created and hopefully new, more information will be coming out soon. Um, and I think that's it. it. If you guys want lockers or you want to store stuff um, or have like cell phone charging stations, those are available for purchase before the festival, so you can look into that. I haven't had too much experience with this festival. I've just been once before, but it really, really surprised me. I think I didn't realize the production was going to be as high of a level as it was, and I had so much fun last year, so I immediately bought the three-day pass, and this lineup is fucking ridiculous, so I cannot wait. I think each day is stacked. Um, I'm so excited to see Seven Lions, um, Dead Mouse, Eric Prids, Jaws, Joyride, Oliver Heldens, Rez, Party Favor. I mean, there's so many people going to this festival this year, so I cannot wait to see the sets that they have. If you guys need any more information, please feel free to leave me comments here. Um, you can shoot me a message on Instagram. I usually try to get back to everyone if I can. I hope you guys found this helpful. Again, there's a lot more information on their website if you need like the like little minor details. But I hope I covered as much as I could. I'm going to be coming out with some videos the next couple weeks going over like my outfits and what I'm going to be wearing. Um, so again, please subscribe if you're interested in seeing more content from me. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed, and I will see you guys in my next video. Thanks for watching.